you subscribe and like? Thanks. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So in light of the new developments with Prince Andrew, and Virginia Giffrey, is that her name, uh, filing charges uh, in the U.S. Uh, court, I uh, thought I'd make a refreshed video. So here we go. Yeah, there's new information out on uh, on Prince Andrew and uh, Virginia Giffrey. And again, I know I'm pronouncing her name incorrectly, but that's what I've got. So what I did is I'd done Prince Andrew and I'd done Giffrey before. So I kind of mushed those two together and edited it up and made it a bit uh, more uh, uh, current. And so that's what I'll tell you about right now. Here we go. I've got to find the page. Ah, it's right here. So here's uh, Prince Andrew. In 1960, Prince Andrew was born in Buckingham Palace on February 19th. So he's Pisces and the third child and the second son of Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, he had a governess for his early education and later went to Heatherden uh, School in Berkshire. Uh, 1973, the 13-year-old prince entered Gordonston in northern uh, Scotland. Now, in 1977, he spent six months in an exchange program in Canada. And in 1979, at the age of 19, he left Gordonston and enrolled at the uh, Royal Naval College of Flight. He was a helicopter pilot and instructor, uh, eventually, from that, and later a captain of a warship during the Falklands War. Now, go to 1981, he's 21, and Andrew dates American actress, photographer, Ku Stark. And then in 1982, the two of them holiday on the island of Mystique. And if you're not sure about Mystique, you should Google that because it has a long history of royals going there for illicit uh, vacations. Now, uh, then, uh, after that uh, vacation, uh, Argentina invaded the Falkland Islands, leading to war. And then the possibility of him getting killed made the government, uh, the British government, apprehensive. But the Queen insisted he will remain with his ship. And then in 1983, Coup... So in 1985, the prince and Sarah Ferguson became reacquainted from childhood at Royal Ascot, which is an event where the queen and family descend on a small town of, of the small town of Ascot for a five-day horse race featuring the world's best racehorses, the fanciest fashions, and food that money can buy. Now, in 1986, he's 26 years old, and Andrew marries Sarah at Westminster Abbey, and he's created the Duke of York. They have two daughters, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie. Now, in 1992, the couple separate amicably, and in 1996, after 10 years, they actually divorce. Um, I guess 10 years of marriage is what that means. Uh, Sarah continues to live at Andrew's uh, Sunning Hill Park uh, uh, mansion. In 1997, Andrew became godfather, though, to actress, remember her, Kusark's Stark's uh, daughter. Uh, 2001, Virginia Roberts Giffrey, and I hope that's right, I haven't looked it up, is alleging that uh, Epstein, Jeffrey Epstein, paid her $15,000 to have sex with Andrew in London. She was 17, and then later in New York, and then again on Little St. James. That's a private island in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Now, flight logs do show that the two, uh, Andrew and Virginia, were in the places she alleges. Uh, he denied having sex with her in 2001. He was very specific to say that about the 2001 thing, saying he had been at home with his daughters after a party at Pizza Express. In 2004, he moves to Royal Lodge, a property originally built in 1662 in Windsor Great Park at uh, Berkshire, and his lease is for 75 years. The Crown Estate is the landlord, but there's no uh, annual charge. <laughs> so in uh, 2007, Sarah purchases Dolphin House, a mansion directly behind Royal Lodge. But then in 2008, a fire at Sarah's house means she now moves into Royal Lodge with Andrew. Now, he was a special representative for international trade, a special representative for international trade and investment for 10 years, receiving 436,000 pounds to cover expenses. 2010, Kazakhstan's president's billionaire son-in-law paid Andrew, uh, Andrew's reps, rather, he paid Andrew's reps 15 million pounds for Sunning Hill Park Mansion. Um, which was three million pounds over the asking price, uh, and they was paid via offshore uh, companies. Andrew spent uh, six hundred twenty 
thousand pounds as a trade envoy, including uh, 154,000 pounds on hotels, food, hospitality, and 465,000 pounds on travel. Now, Sarah was secretly filmed uh, receiving forty thousand dollars, I think it was dollars, in as a cash down payment for Andrew later meeting this donor to pass on top level business contacts for uh, eventually five hundred thousand pounds. That was the deal. That was the deal. Now uh, he was photographed with Epstein in Central Park, New York City, and also admitted staying at Epstein's for four, three days with the purpose of breaking off a relationship with him after Epstein's conviction for sex offenses against a minor. And in uh, 2011, he's called Air Miles Andy regarding a reimbursement receipt for air travel expenses, and uh, Sarah's multi-million pound debts were cleared by Andrew. In 2012, Swiss and Italian police investigated a trust said to have paid six million uh, pounds towards the purchase of Andrew's Sun Sunning Hill mansion, which appeared uh, derelict. Now, in 2014, a Florida court ruling alleged Andrew and lawyer Alan Dershowitz, American lawyer Alan Dershowitz, and others participated in sex with Virginia trafficked by Epstein. In 2015, Andrew faced accusations over a connection to Epstein and then actress Ku Stark came to his defense. A request for Virginia's lawyers for a statement under oath were unanswered. And in 2016, the Duke allegedly brokered a deal for a Greek and Swiss consortium for a 385 million pounds contract to build water and sewerage networks in Kazakhstan. Andrew stood to gain four million uh, pounds in commission. Uh, 2018, Virginia, remember her, said she was pressured to have sex with Andrew and couldn't object as Epstein could have her killed or abducted. And Andrew and Virginia were photographed with his arm around her waist and Ghislaine Maxwell is in the background. Now, 2019, now age 59 years old, court documents reveal, Andrew's age of 59, court documents reveal a second girl's evidence that Andrew's hand was on her breast in Epstein's mansion with a puppet in Andrew's image. And uh, I wonder if she confused the puppet's hand for Andrew. No. And then a media organization published a 2013 email between a literary agent for Epstein and a journalist that mentioned a Brit nicknamed Andy receiving a foot massage from two Russian women at Epstein's in 2010. He later realized it was the prince. Uh, his public duties, the prince public duties, were suspended after a TV interview regarding sexual abuse and uh, Epstein. 2020, Andrew resigned from all public roles. U.S. authorities filed a mutual legal assistance request to the U.K. to inter interrogate him. Uh, he was not invited to celebrations of his father's 100th birthday. And then U.S. attorneys said Andrew provided zero cooperation despite his initial promise to help. Uh, Andrew and Sarah were in a legal dispute over a, a ski, a Swiss ski chalet, uh, unable to pay their 15 million, uh, 15, yeah, 15 million pound debt. My goodness. Oh no, it's 5 million pound debt. Excuse me. Don't mean to get that wrong. So they couldn't pay their 5 million pound debt. Uh, despite claims that the queen would help, a spokesperson for Andrew confirmed the queen will not settle the debt and Andrew hired crisis management. A majority of Brits believe he should be stripped of his titles and extradited to the United States. Uh, Andrew canceled a trip to Spain, fearing he might be extradited to the United States. The Duke of York, Andrew, receives 249,000 pounds annuity from the Queen. And Virginia filed a civil case in New York claiming Prince Andrew abused her. So now we're going to see what do the cards say about all of this. Okay, so this is the Connolly tarot by Peter Paul Connolly and Eileen Connolly and this is this is actually a son and a mother who did these cards but these are very nice cards to use I love them a lot and uh, so the Connollys um, as a matter of fact the mother's a PhD and is into parapsychology and all sort of things uh, spiritual um, and then so she kind of conceived of this thing then she got her son uh, who was born in 1964, but I guess by then he was a teenager. But she got him to design the cards, and uh, he's an artist today. So that's Peter Paul Collins. So, so these are pretty interesting cards. I love them. Let me show you how they look. They've just got so much color in them. Apparently he uh, sketched these out with colored pencils uh, before they became finished works of art. And I guess they're hanging in galleries somewhere on the West Coast. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. So these are beautiful. I love these cards. I mean, they're everything uh, you want to see in a typical, easy to read uh, tarot card. Now put them out like this so that you can take a look at them too. You know, everybody likes to see something different. And uh, maybe you haven't seen these cards laid out like that before. 
but um, that's those folks, the Connollys. Okay, so this will be probably two, maybe three dyadic crosses. That's those uh, six card crosses. The first part of the uh, Celtic cross. And um, so what I want to do, because what I did is I took those two stories and kind of blended them together. So I want to do one uh, uh, dyadic cross for Prince Andrew, one for Virginia, and then if I do a third one, that might be on uh, the trial, I think. But uh, definitely those two. So we'll see uh, what we get out of this. Prince Andrew. What's going on with you, buddy? We already asked if you did it. So I think he will go down with the ship. I think he will never, ever. So will he settle? Will he settle this out of court, or will he let this go to court and be judged in public? I don't think that's going to happen. I think he'd much rather uh, cover this up, but I think uh, that's what I'm going to ask anyway. So let's cut the cards. Let's spread them out. Take six off the top for Prince Andrew. Court or cash? That sounds pretty good. That could be a nice little game. I'm surprised somebody hadn't thought of it yet. Court or cash? Okay. And then for the next dyadic cross, we have these right here. So the um, the question is, Prince Andrew, is this Andrew, is this going to go to court, or are you going to cash out? First card for that is the world card. You know what? The world card is the end of a cycle. I mean, it's a big, spectacular, complete end, and then the beginning of something new. I think this could mean... Um, Either way this goes, uh, his um, any kind of station he has in the uh, in the royal family is really a, a, a mess. So this is the end of his his current status, which will mean the beginning of something else, and he'll cash out. The challenge to that is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight is the fighter in the royal uh, 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 foursome. And uh, the wands are action, motion, power, planning. So the Knight of Wands, Prince Andrew, Andrew, a knight with some plans. Okay. So I don't know. Is he smart enough to have plans ready for, because this is definitely the end. Maybe he is. Maybe he is. The base of this then is, well, that's what it was. It was happy family, as happy as that family can be. Uh, but yeah, ten of the cups is rainbows and uh, fairy tales and everything's wonderful. In the uh, past of that reading is the Empress. So, I don't know. I want to say um, this is the Queen, actually. But um, let's just leave it at that. Let's see what happens in the sky here. The sky of this reading is the Six of Pentacles. So this is distribution. This is uh, uh, knowing who gets what. And, um, and making sure we have doled out the value in an appropriate and uh, fair way. Hmm. Kind of. In the sky and then the likely outcome of this whole thing is then the queen of cups which is uh you know she comes to us with a great big cup of compassion uh, in the middle of a sea of emotion and uh and uh, you know you can't help but think that's the queen who's gonna uh say it'll be all right come on let's just uh, relax so is it going to be um cash or court uh he's represented as the uh, world card so i think an end to an era and that could be court or cash, that. But then it's challenged by the Knight of Wands, so fighting with a plan. So is the plan to pay off or is the plan uh, a court battle? Uh, the base of the whole thing was happy family. And that's uh, what they portray anyway. The past is the Empress. And I, I want to say that that's the Queen in the past. So could this be that this whole thing really takes place after the Queen has gone uh, I don't know, because in the sky we've got the Six of Pentacles, which is uh, just distributing uh, the wealth, really. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing is the Queen of Cups, which is the Queen of, of Compassion. And um, this certainly could be Camilla. So, I don't know. That's what we've got. I'm not going to finish this, this cross because I want to go right to the question of Virginia. Virginia. So, she was 17, I guess, when all this occurred. And um, so what, what's going on here? What's going on here with Virginia? 
is this, well, let's ask what her intention is. Was her intention to cash or uh, court? In other words, if she got a significant cash offer, we should just say, okay, let's, let's be done with it. Because uh, she'll have to be reminded that uh, if she's looking for a cash settlement, you know, the longer she's in it, uh, she's splitting more and more with the attorneys. So, Virginia, cash or court? One, two, three, four, five, right there, still six. Okay, so Virginia, cash or court? What's What would you do? You know, at that point, you certainly made a, a, a point of things already. The um, Okay, so as a, as a signifier, we have the Queen of Wands. So that is the Queen of, of her plans, of her actions. And uh, and uh, she certainly is passionate about uh, getting this plan moved forward. If we look at the sky, it's all around that. So that's the self. The challenge to that, then the signifier, the challenge to that is the Eight of Cups. And that's walking away from some great big emotional... Um, something innocence i mean that's gone a long time ago but the base of this reading is the empress she's come back again she's come back again the base of this reading is the empress so empress is um just mother earth um really all knowing um i almost want to think of mother nature when i think of the empress and the past of this reading is temperance so balancing everything out the sky is going to be the page of pentacles who's bringing just an offer of value. Look at this. This page is standing on a stack of books um, to present this uh, information, I guess, to uh, the court. Oh, that's interesting. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing, cash or, or court, is the Queen of Cups and the same card that the other one ended with. The other one ended with the Queen of Cups. Good God. All right, and look, I had two cards from that other deck. So we said... Um, um, is she cash your court? So she's she's the queen of wands. She's she's got a plan. And she's going to stick to it. And it's challenged by um, walking away from all this, which she's not, all the the passionate emotional hurt of the whole thing. No, she's not going to do that. And the base of this is the empress. And I think she has that strength uh, um, now behind her to carry it through. And temperance in the recent past is having to know when exactly to make that uh, move with this page of pentacles this uh, offer of, of uh, real value and uh, the likely outcome of the whole thing is again this queen of cups the queen of, of emotion and passion and understanding interesting so and then for the final oh my gosh how do I have all those extra cards one two three four five six huh I'll be darned I must have taken them off the stack what a, an idiot okay so for the last I just got so lost in the reading. And so for the last uh, one, we'll say just um, three cards, court or cash. So we know which way they each want to lean. And now let's see uh, what maybe could really happen. Courts or cash. Three cards really quickly. Okay. It's one, two. And three. Court or cash. First card for that is the chariot. Things coming fast. The second card for that is the four of swords. Really knowing when to take a break, take a rest, and um, you know before you move, before you make a step. Court or cash. Court or cash. And then the third part of this, that empress came back again. Fruitful. Um, really uh, beginning certainly, and. Um, so we can say, was this going to be quarter cash? I think it's still up in the air because things are coming coming on now. It's time to really consider all these rules, all this law, all this justice before you take one more step at all. And then um, because um, this goes right to the nature of, of this uh, emotional issue. Well, that was a strange read, but that's what I got. So um, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll try something else next time. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.